Hello, this is Chris Lele, the GRE expert at Magoosh. And today, I'm gonna give you a high level overview of the math section on the GRE. So you know what's on it, the question types, and some other important information. First, let's talk about the concepts on the test. You will have arithmetic. That's fractions, percents, square root signs, all of that good stuff relating to numbers. Next, you'll have algebra. And here, we're dealing with variables, solving for those variables, polynomials. The next concept category is geometry. Circles, squares, triangles, trapezoids, give me the area. That's gonna be geometry. The final one is data analysis. And this is where you have pie charts and bar graphs, and you have to juggle all that information and get the right answer. Now that we know what they're gonna ask you, Let's talk about how they're going to ask you in the four different question types, starting with quantitative comparison, which is where you have to compare column A to column B and figure out which value is greater. The next type is multiple choice. Your good old, hey, here are five answer choices. There's one answer that's correct. The next type, though, is a little bit different. You'll have multiple answer choices, sometimes as many as eight or nine, and any of these answer choices can be correct. Finally, there's numeric entry, which is really just a fancy way of saying fill in the blank. Now that we know the what and the how, it's time to talk about some other important information, starting with assumptions. On the GRE math section, prime numbers are always going to be positive. Next, distances, such as from one point to another, are always going to be positive. There are no negative distances. And finally, Positive direction is always to the right. So if you see a number line, then a larger number will always be to the right of a smaller number. The next thing you have to know about is the GRE calculator. There is one, it's on screen. It's not super fancy, but if you have to do some really involved arithmetic, it can definitely help you out. And finally, scratch paper. Yes, you do get scratch paper and you can have more than one sheet. All right, now that we're done talking about the GRE math basics, Let's talk about next steps. I'm gonna be recommending some specific, and they're free, resources, so check out the links below and see what piques your interest. I recommend learning strategies for each question type and sticking to a study schedule. We even have more math-focused ones on our blog. Second, you'll need to practice GRE-level math questions, and our Math Practice Questions blog post is a great place to start. And finally, take advantage of Magusha's free GRE math resources. In fact, we have a GRE math cheat sheet that you can start studying with today.